Welcome everybody to the AI uh, Tools of the Week. This podcast brings you the latest AI tools and technologies in a way that's easy to understand for everybody. I've been uh, on the road for the last couple of weeks, so I haven't been able to uh, make it to this podcast, but I'm excited to be back. There's been a ton that's come out and uh, I'm excited to, to share with you. We wanted to be able to explore this fascinating world of AI and look at things ethically, look at things on how we can preserve our individual freedom and also take advantage of these emerging technologies in a way to be able to fortify freedom in the future. Uh, we have the awesome autonomy um, community here with me and I'm excited to uh, open up the discussion. But first off, I want to Give a little bit of an update. I just got back from Pork Fest, a, a festival in New Hampshire. That's a Porcupine Festival of uh, the Liberty Movement, and it was a lot of work, a lot of fun. We met um, about twenty autonomy graduates over there, and uh, had a had a wonderful week having a pop up cafe that we all helped run and sell and sell delicious and, and healthy food to the public. I got to DJ three times. Uh, and I'm creating a big old recap video that's going to be coming out soon. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, check out this intro video that I did uh, with the help of some AI that I'll talk about here in a minute. After the success of the Exit and Build Land Summit 3, Joshua found himself at a crossroads, inspired by the possibilities of a broader movement for liberty and freedom. During this time, he stumbled upon Porkfest, an annual gathering renowned for its celebration of individual freedom and voluntary interactions. Intrigued by the possibilities, he made a decision that would shape his journey. Joshua, the executive director of Autonomy, an online course designed to unlock individuals' potential and ignite their journey toward personal and professional prosperity, saw Porkfest as a perfect opportunity. Not only could he celebrate the graduation of his fellow students and tell everyone about his new courses, but he could also hang out with his mentor and friend, Richard Grove, for a joyous gathering. Join Joshua on his transformative journey to Porkfest. Embark on this adventure and witness building a future of freedom. The Porkfest Chronicles 2023. So that was a script that I had help with ChatGPT to create for an intro as I prepared to go on this trip. I wasn't able to edit in real time and put things out like I had with Exit and Build. Uh, I was just completely, uh, I was working nonstop out there, so I didn't have a lot of downtime for editing. But I did um, create this intro and I wanted to use a voiceover so that A, it wasn't me, but also so I can uh, really develop a story arc and, and narrate the, the footage that I was capturing. And so that was actually uh, Bradley Cooper, who is the actor from Limitless, uh, the guy who takes pills and gets super smart. And so I took his voice and uh, uh, ended up putting it through 11 labs using the script I did with ChatGPT because I thought that was a cool, uh, cool voice to uh, to add into the narration. So I hope to also be adding that into the, the additional um, footage that I'm capturing to help a new element of, of storytelling uh, from a narrative point of view. So I'm playing around with that and it's a lot of fun. Let's see. We have a lot of cool tools to go over. Uh, and I just want to showcase some of the ones that I've highlighted and have been playing around with um, while on my trip. So this is called Easy Peasy AI. I just came across this um, recently. But for those that, you know, are just a little overwhelmed by this whole AI thing, they this really seems to uh, simplify and make it extremely easy to be able to start using these powerful tools. Um, they it helps out with uh, content. So it basically gives you all these templates and like prompts essentially of a starting place to be able to do blog postings, uh, job descriptions, writing tasks. So um, easy place to start there, but also, uh, they have templates for creating AI art. And so they're taking these big, powerful tools and making, you know, a really uh, 
the dumbed down interface with that so that the general public, you know, doesn't have to have a PhD in um, generative uh, AI to be able to use these things. And then also, which I'm, Seeing these more and more, these are in, uh, internal AI uh, chatbots. So this is a, a AI buddy, Marky. And so this really helps people along their way to be able to have something to interact with and ask the simple questions in order to figure out where they need to go. Uh, and it's, I think, going to be a commonplace uh, here in the coming years. Also, audio transcription. So everything that I did with that video you just saw, they're making a very simple interface to be able to create uh, uh, AI generated audio uh, from text. So that's again, really simple uh, option for people. You can see here's all the different um, generators and prompts that they offer. Uh, so if, if you've been holding back just because you find you know AI and, and how to use it kind of overwhelming, this could be an easy peasy place to start. <laughs> Next thing I want to show you is uh, Docker. I, I played with this yesterday and um, I've highlighted several um, chat document chat bots uh, previously. And this one seemed to work relatively well. And what this did, does is allows you to upload PDF, doc, uh, text, um, Java, Python files. Uh, and then you have a chat bot that you get to um, communicate with it. <clears throat> it's free. It's easy to use. You just hit this, uh, log in, and then you're able to upload documents and then ask for summaries, ask for answers, ask for clarifications. You know, can you simply um, describe this to a five-year-old uh, kind of thing so that, you know, studies, you know, complicated privacy policies, all these things are now able to be really boiled down into easy to understand um, language so that you can you can do these things. I, pu I put in about a 500 page PDF and then I was able to ask about everything in that PDF um, relatively easy and it, and it did a good job at summarizing and not just coming back to me of saying, I don't know what you're talking about, but actually understanding everything that I uploaded. So this is called uh, D-O-C-E-R dot T-O, uh, and definitely worth checking out. This one is fascinating. I'm probably not going to use it, but let's check this video out. Back left side to Ori, looking for Kobe to get some space. Brian out deep. Three seconds, two seconds for the win. Wake up. It's time to attack the day. 70 degrees, perfect weather for your 6 a.m. workout. After that, you're free for the day. Carry with you the Mamba mentality. Good morning, Declan. Got it! So this allows you to use... Um, voices from actors and um, popular people that are out there as a way to wake up in the morning. Uh, I think it's creative. Uh, I personally don't want to know all my agenda items for the day when I first wake up. And so uh, I'm like, I'm not going to be using this, let alone, I don't want these people, you know, bringing me into consciousness first thing in the morning. Um, but I thought it's very clever and really shows how um, custom our days are going to be getting with all these new features uh, uh, in our lives. Anybody have any feedback or thoughts on this technology? I, I would not use it. It's uh, not my cup of coffee. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, great. The privacy aspect for the coffee. I don't want to give it my calendar info at what I will be doing each day. I right. really liked your comment as well to Joshua about first thing in the morning consciousness that resonated. Yeah, I like to wake up real slow. I don't use my phone. Well, 
I, I do a morning meditation with my phone, but I, re, I won't look at any notifications, any emails, anything that's trying to grab my attention first thing in the morning. I like to do my routine, have coffee, and then uh, slowly wake up. So having this thing tell me about, you know, the important meeting I'm supposed to be at at 11 o'clock first thing when you wake up seems counterproductive. All right. Um, this is scannable QR code art. Uh, this just rolled out two weeks ago, and um, <clears throat> this is really getting a lot of attention. Let me see if I can pull up. There we go. <clears throat> so how this works is you go to this website, and there's multiple of them out there now, and it basically gives you, you put in a link, Right. And so uh, let me let me grab this and then put in any link and then it creates a QR code for you. You copy this QR code and then you are able to go over to uh, it's in a discord group, which can, can be a little confusing for people. Um, <clears throat> but it, 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 sh it shows you step by steps how to get it. You click a link, you end up into this um, discord quick art um, group. And then in here. There are instructions on how to use. You essentially, if you've done any mid journey or anything else that uses Discord, uh, you are able to just follow the directions and you are then able to put a prompt on here. Um, you would put this uh, or, or yeah, uh, 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 uh. you download this, you would upload it into the Discord, um, paste bin is what it's called. And then you right click and then you can copy link from that image. Then you go over to the bot. And this is where you're able to then uh, add the prompt of the queue. You add the uh, generate the prompt of what you want the art to be, and then a backslash, and then the URL of that um, Discord image that you just put in the other room. And then it's able to generate um, art based off of your um, your prompt with the QR details embedded with within the um, within the the bot or within the image. So pretty wild. I think it's relatively new. Sometimes the QR codes don't really work, so you got to test this out. Um, but the capabilities of this, I think, are going to blow up. And QR codes are going to, you know, the the way that we've known them and just the black and white are going to be a thing of the past because these new creative ways of, you know, being able to take a picture and uh, click on things is gonna be common uh, out there here in the coming months. So pretty cool, cool way to, uh, you know, promote your stuff and to be, for businesses to be able to showcase um, art or QR codes. All right, next up, let's go back to here. This is called Uncrop. Um, this technology just came out uh, recently from who who's the first one to drop it? I think one of the big one of the big tech giants came out and um, came out with this. Uh, Uncrop is essentially where you're able to add an image. Let's see. Can I do that? Did that work? No, that's a web version. Let me let me grab an image real quick. Uh, I hope this is. Oh, that's not what I wanted to show on there. Um, let's go here. All right. So uncrop allows you to expand upon your images that you have. I tried this with an old image from my child or like from my past, a personal image. And it's pretty fascinating to see how it can expand what imagery is being uh, shown up. So as you saw, right, uh, it was cropped off at their waist and then it went ahead and generated uh, different versions for you to check out. Um, and you can expand it up, right, down, left, um, and pretty, pretty fun way to, you know, explore older photos. Um, 
This is from the Autonomy Cafe. Let's see what it does here. Oh, come on. Uh, so I hit my free limit already. <clears throat> this is typically a paid feature. So this website was using it uh, or, or is a way to use this technology for free. So you'll have to play with this at home. Uh, it's called Clip Drop by Stability.ai. I'll have the link in the show above. And it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool to uh, to see what it can come up with. Um, also, so there's z the Zoom. Um, there is now Zoom capabilities with uh, Mid Journey, and it's pretty cool to see what Mid Journey is able to do with um, take a photo, an AI gen generated photo, and then click Zoom out and it zooms and creates an image and this original photo gets smaller and smaller. And there's videos out there now of, you can just keep going and going and going and going and building out this beautiful scene that started from the original um, photo. So I'll have an example set up for, for next week, but that was a pretty big release that came out um, last week while I was in um, New Hampshire. Does anybody have anything cool that they came across that they want to share? Great. Well, I have uh, one more goodie to tease here. Uh, I was able to uh, go through Richard Grove's library, and I took some high-definition video question. of Richard Grove's bookshelves. And so uh, this is going to be coming out soon. Uh, I have to go over this with Richard on uh, Monday, but it's essentially a nice high def slow-mo look at all these juicy books that he has collected over the years that I think some people are gonna get really excited about. Um, I used, as you can hear here, AI generated music because I did put up one of my DJ mixes, but of course YouTube, flagged it for copyright because there's other people's music and so i went and tried out uh some AI generated music and it did a pretty good job at spitting something tolerable out to listen to while we cruise through all these books um but one step cooler than that was being able to take it to adobe's uh premiere pro and they have a feature that you can extend any music for video editing so i was able to take this three minute track and extend it out into a, a seamless loop to where it was able to fill in this whole 17 minute video. There, it varies a bit uh, and I did use two tracks on here so it's not mind numbing um, repetitive, uh, but I thought it was a very useful way to get around for copywriting for uh, autonomy, or I mean for uh, YouTube and test out these new features. Being a DJ, I have a really uh, developed taste in music. And so AI generated music is tolerable, I'll say right now. Um, but I hope in the next coming, you know, six months, year, that it catches up to some more trendy soundings, sounding stuff. I have a new course coming out. This is getting the final touches. The beta course got completed last last year or last uh, week, right before Pork Fest. And we're gonna be rolling this out here, I think in by the 11th of July from Ideas to Income 14 Day Challenge. Uh, I go through how to create a business, a side hustle uh, in 14 days using ChatGPT, using all these great AI tools to be able to take an idea and turn it into a website with a checkout and being able to accept money to uh, sell that idea, sell that, those products, sell that coaching that you've always wanted to do. So keep an eye out. I'm gonna be releasing a special um, coupon for the autonomy community uh, and that can uh, sign up first and get a huge discount on this. So keep an eye out for that here. I think maybe later today. Thanks everybody for joining me today. That was a quick 30 minutes and uh, I'm excited about testing out more of these tools, putting more of these tools into use, seeing which ones actually stick and, and end up in my workflow. But 
Regardless, there's going to be more to go over next week, and I'm excited to be sharing with that with you. Make sure to like and subscribe where you're watching this, and make sure to try out these AI tools. Uh, see how they fit. See where your edge is with your principles and values. And uh, if you don't do it, then somebody's going to do that for you. Thanks, everybody.